Hey everybody, so this is my yearly trip up to Parchers up above Bishop, and I had booked this early in the year. Little did I know that this was going to be a record snow year. Like, you can see from Owens Lake that there was a lot of water that had come off the mountain and was still coming down the mountain. So, instead of trying to fish the creeks, I decided to book a boat up at Lake Sabrina and do some still water fishing. Um, it was pretty much perfect, and the lake was almost completely full at this point. I started out with a indicator, but quickly switched to just stripping in nymphs and dry flies once I saw they were surface feeding. Once the wind picked up, I actually went back to an indicator because uh, there was no more surface activity. It took me a while to figure out where they were. I was fishing some deeper areas, but then once I started casting to within six feet of shore, that's when I started getting hits. Sorry for the lack of actual takes. I'm starting to miss a lot of video clips just because I think I turned off my sound from my GoPro, so I have no idea when it's on or off. But I ended up with a handful of fish this day. We rented the boat for half a day and decided to hit the creeks before checking into the departures. You can see from this clip that the water was actually moving a lot more than in some of the other videos I've done at Bishop Creek, but we found some flatter spots which we can see fish that were rising up and surface feeding. I'm hiding behind a rock here because they were still kind of spooky. Am I dead? So something that surprised me was the amount of dry fly action I was getting. You just had to find the right areas with uh, calm enough water to use them. That being said, this seemed like the perfect area to try to use the stream or bumper. So we tied up one on and first cast, I had a follow right up to the edge. So this one ended up being a rainbow stalker, which we decided to keep for dinner. I'm trying to cut back the amount of steak I eat on these trips, so. I think that's our Usually dinner. I keep one fish and throw the rest back. The next day we decided to hike back up to Green River. If you remember from a video maybe a year or two ago, I took the long way up from Parchers. This time I decided to start from the pipe. It's a little more sketchy because you're literally walking on a pipe, but it saves you about 500 feet of elevation gain. And trust me, it was a lot easier this time around. That being said, this is not really an officially maintained trail, so I wouldn't do this, or at least attempt it at your own risk. So you could see South Lake in the distance, and it was pretty much close to full at that point. I think by the time this video is posted, it should be full and the boat dock is operating. It's 
It's crazy you can actually see how much snow was still there the second week of July. And this was the point where we actually turned around because you can see the creek was still running pretty pretty fast and we didn't want to get our feet wet or slip so decided to just turn around and head back down to the creek. Didn't catch anything this day surprisingly but did see some fairly big browns for the creek. I think they were browns but they might have been some stalkers mixed in with them. So this fish I actually tried everything on, streamers, uh, dry droppers, uh, nymphing, and it wouldn't budge until I attached a size 22 midge to the end of a dropper and finally took it. Unfortunately I lost it here too, but it was a barbless hook so that's probably why. Again, the dry fly action was surprisingly on at this location, so caught a couple on the dry. Anyways, that wraps up another trip to Parchers. Highly recommend staying with them while you're up there. It lets you acclimate at 9,000 feet and you can walk to the creek basically. Um, hopefully I get to do some backpacking pretty soon. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.